Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Show, and welcome to the Who's That Indie Thing, a strategic tactical survival indie game. So your face off. Today's first impression is Dark. Is it Darksburg or Darkburg? Darksburg, which is kind of like a top-down Left 4 Dead game. That's the sound gone. The problem is, the AI isn't the best, and obviously it's a four-person game. There is very little in the way of an active player base. Now it's currently like I think it was like mixed reviews overall and like people are being positive to it. But there is no player base. Of browse games, there are two people playing right now. And this is prime time for me when People should be active. There are, across all three areas, three people playing the game. Four of you count me. So, it's co-op survival where you do the missions with like you and three others, and it's versus survival, just like Left 4 Dead, where the enemy becomes the mini bosses. And I thought I'd give it a try again, because obviously it's come out since the last time I did a video, but I thought I'd just join a game. But there aren't any. So there are five characters in the game, as you can see. You pick them. They all have their own special abilities. This one like the toxin. This one is a damage dealer. This one appears to be a tank. Sister Abigail's a healer. Rose. So I'm going to go straight up with Rose, because yeah. I like Rose. But yeah, Whatever. there's no one playing the game. The maybe... Game start maybe there'll be more people in the future. But, yeah. Oh well. So I've We're not going any before, but obviously it's randomised a little bit. Only thing we can but yeah, do is so you're fighting an undead plague, as you can see. It's right click to attack, left click to move, the usual stuff. That damage, that doctor damage here is insane. And there's also the secret equipment and stuff around the area you can pick up too. You can pick up health items. You can see where the enemy is. There are... Rare enemies, there are uncommon enemies, and there are mini boss enemies. Also, there is basically a thing like a tank in the game. So, obviously, these guys throw spears, they're sort of like slightly uncommon. You get stuff like the runners, as you can see. Then there are the four rare enemies, which obviously will be like this one, which are basically the. What was that? The bosses of the game, as it were, because that's what the other players could be. And then, of course, you have the tank variant, which is the, if I remember correctly, he is the Lord of Darksburg, this massive guy in armour with a sword. And that's the game. It's basically, exactly as you imagine, left for dead. Oh, in this case, I guess Vermintide now. I play Vermintide a lot more than I play left for dead. Because I love the, me the melee. So, look. so you have abilities. So the Q is... Somersault, Furball of Death, I said my little twig. There we go. Oh, look at that. So yeah, knowing what the enemies do, what the uncommon ones do is important. Why well, do I keep lagging randomly? That's very odd, it wasn't lagging before. And yeah, the enemies obviously, they're not meant to be strong. On their own, they're massively strong uh. in huge groups. Like even the runners, you can easily pick them off on your own. It's when you get thousands of them in one go. Just like zombie hordes are meant to be. There's some more commons at the back throwing their spears. Obviously, the common ones are kind of hard to hit when there's a massive horde of regular guys in front of them. But yeah, the game is alright. The art style is interesting, the game works well, just there's no player base. If you were to play with random people online, you're not going to get it. You're going to have to get three friends who want to play this game together. The copy is out. Wow. 
And yeah, each character obviously plays uniquely differently. They have kind of like a bit like MOBA skills, I guess. Because the characters play very much like MOBA characters, but you're playing in a Left 4 Dead Vermintide style world game. As you can see, enemies just constantly pour the fences and things. The longer you stay, the more you're fine. There's a higher chance of a horde appearing. But yeah, the characters do, now that I think about it, play a bit like MOBA characters. There we go. Look, the boat looks nice. We're actually having a look at it. The Executioner is here. Oh, the Executioner is another one of like the mini bosses, which can be other characters. As you can see, he throws a hook to try and grab you and he stabs you. That voice acting was terrible. That voice acting literally sounded like someone canned it in. What the hell? Bandage here. See, that was okay. But the executioner? Oh, it's the doctor. Maybe it's the voice mask. But yeah, they don't sound right. As you can see, enemies will constantly keep appearing. The hordes get pretty massive. And they all do spawn in, in kind of like, okay ways for the world. You know, they come out of water, they come over the fences. You see them appear out of buildings. So you don't suddenly feel like they're just randomly appearing from nowhere. They actually feel like they're coming from the world. But yeah, I definitely like to play this with people. So I can point out that, you know, where the, the spearmen or the fishermen are. Where the shield bearers are, because there are shield bearers in the game. Nearby. Oh, he's back Keep again. Oh. Okay, my ultimate has happened. If I kill 20 enemies, I get my ultimate, which is a rain of arrows, as you can see. I can fire three of them. Okay, here's the horde. As you can see, your hordes are pretty massive. There's a shield bear, another one common. Healing up. Throw the hamster! Or whatever it is, it might be a squirrel. So yeah, now you've got shield bearers, huge numbers of shield bearers and spear throwers at the back. So this is where the horde comes in. A shield bearer on his own is pretty damn weak. But three of those guarding five guys throwing spears and like 20 regular guys in between, suddenly you're in trouble. But yeah, the horde's obviously the best part of the game. Healing salve here. Huh. Oh, look at these guys. And these are basically the uh, Vermintide Storm Vermin. Which didn't exist before, but now do. Uh oh. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Let's get knocked out. No, I panicked. So yeah, these are new. So these are just cashing in on the Vermintide Elite Guard because they literally even have the um, pikes of the of the Storm Vermin, amusingly. The execution is here. Oh, there he is again. Oh, and there's the Raven Master. Guys, this is why you need your actual real players, because the AI isn't the best. And obviously you can keep reviving them, but yeah, the AI is not the best. They never are in these kind of games. They prioritise weird things, they'll steal your health stuff, they're not always going to heal you. What was that? Huh. Some kind of mage. Let's go on moving. Take the bandage as well. Oh, what are you? Right, regular woman. Just shot a woman in the face. Oh, the fishmonger's back. So yeah, they all have like their corresponding critters. You can see the arch the archetypes from the other games. Like the f the uh what's it called? One guy will throw his hook to pull you in, another guy will literally throw acid bombs, as it were, stuff like that. I think one of them may even charge you. There isn't really been any kind of unique rare zombies in these kind of games for quite a while. Let's hope the key is somewhere around here. Weirdly enough. I guess it's hard. Like you get the the guys who explode, the guys who ride you. The got, what he got him. It is what it is. 
But yeah, like I say, it would be a lot better if we could actually play with other people. Uh, but even if I had other people, it'd be the call-outs would still be bad, but at least the AI would be a lot better. Oh, wow. The hordes are really good. The hordes are very good. And as you can see, it is a bit mobile-like because the enemies will massively signpost what they're doing. So you can see the spear throws, you can see the explosions. The, the brute. Oh, here's the charger. There we go. So yeah, just like MOBAs, obviously they're massively telegraphing themselves. There we go, kill him off. Bandage here. Good. Hey, no. How much punishment can this thing take? We have a zombie shark we're trying to get. There we go. Go Sharky. And George. So I don't remember the... Oh, that was a massive kick. So I don't remember the uh, Storm Vermin-like guys. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember the uh, Storm Vermin-like soldiers, but I do remember everything else. And the Duke, was it Lord? Lord Darksburg, he will appear. He is basically the tank. Massive armor, massive sword, extremely powerful close range combatant. Okay, that is a more permanent heal, good. Oh, there's another exploder. But yeah, I do, like I say, I like the variety in enemies. You get a lot of different uncommons. Oh, there he is. Healing here. Uh oh, traps. Money. Not sure what the money does. Hopefully, I'll find out. There we go. But yeah, it works well. It plays well. But like I say, you would you would want to have friends with you because finding randomers is not an option right now. The raven must is nearby. Oh, there he goes. He's firing his ravens. I'm getting scared. I'm I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. If I see too many birds, I panic. See, the Raven Master is kind of unique in that regard. There's never been an enemy which just makes you panic. But obviously, you've got the guy who charges, the guy who pulls you back. Maybe there isn't a jockey. But it's very hard to make unique enemies now. I guess Left 4 Dead 2 really did put the um, the onus on them being specials. There he goes with his nets. Let's go. Like I say, the individual zombies are very easily killed. Extremely weak. You don't care about individual zombies. It's when they get more numerous like this. There we are. Oh, there's another exploder. Because, like, you're getting trapped, and you see the, the guys with the fire in their hands rushing towards you. Oh. oh, he hits hard. There we go. Very nice. You can pick those up, I think. We have the water. Yeah, the world is nice. The world obviously makes sense. It all works cohesively. You don't see anything really odd and out of place. Although, Delarosa's voice seems very oddly out of place for some reason. I have to pick up. Come with me. Healing salve here. Okay, we need to pull this over. That's just going to be a problem. And here comes the excruciatingly slow ferry. And oh. zombies, of course. The excruciatingly slow ferry they're talking about. It feels very much like they're making a joke about how everything is slow. But yeah, it is very, very slow. You will get these forced defence points. There we are, kill them all. But yeah, 
If there was a bigger player base, I'd be able to recommend the game. Which is a problem. Like, prime time for me, there's two other people on my time, and one other person in Asia. I know it's kind of like... Late morning for the Americans? But there should still be at least, you know, a couple on. Uh, and more monsters. I mean, Careful. why not? I can smell the burning witch. The burning witch. Oh, there's Baron Manfred von Dogsburg. He's a Baron. This is how you can die very quickly. Because, like I say, it's not individuals. It's the Horde. Bit of trouble. Here he's charging. Like I say, luckily they do massively signpost themselves. God, why'd the Baron have to join in during a horde? But it's not really too hard to dodge. The main problem you're going to get is when there's too many other enemies around. He very, very obviously shows you what he's going to do. Ow. I feel lightheaded. I do too. The fairies alongside. I downed. Yeah. Oh, the entire team got killed. Oh, reward, what's this? Huh. Level up. What's that do? No idea. Now level oh. two of Rose. What's that do? Oh. Yeah. And here we go. So you can get perks, obviously you can bring one perk in at every level. Which makes you slightly more powerful. So basic characters are not that good. We can only bring in three perks. Huh. Yeah, and that's the game. Let me see if any other more people who exist. Let's have a look. After 20 minutes. Nope. Oh my god. So yes, there's a major issue for any kind of game designed to be played around players. There's just no one here. Absolutely no one here. Like, what am I meant to do? It would definitely be fun with friends. Very much so. You can't just jump in and jump out. Like, Vermintide has an active community. Left 4 Dead has an active community. This... Sister, Dr. Dolor Sister, Abigail. Runo. Rose. Twig. Oh, yeah. Dr. Yeah. What science breaks, science must repair. There you go. Yeah. The game will start shortly. So everyone's playing with AI. Huh. Come see there my is wares. no cure for that rain, either. Let us set out for the monastery. Now is as good a time as ever. What have I got? Q fires that, which Drums poisons the enemies. Here. In layman's terms, keep off the mud. I have an acid thrower. Okay. See, so yeah, I've done this one in the previous one. I've done the other game in the previous one. I didn't actually lose, weirdly enough. Baron Dogsburg did actually decide to attack us on the final wave. The brute is here. But not for long. There we go, keep pushing. I actually like this character. I always like anything involving vaguely flamethrowers. They've actually changed this up, there's more mud. I think the maps are randomised too, so they actually do change a little bit each time. I know, you don't get a unique items. Apparently I was just misremembering. Burning witch coming through. 
and kill her. This town's actually pretty powerful. The two most powerful DPSs seem to be in range. Look at that. Oh well, like I say, I'd be able to try all the players and stuff, but the problem is, like I say, I like playing these kind of games. Oh, I am a glass cannon. What hit me there? That was insane. But yeah, this is very much a glass cannon. You can't see anything inside the wheat fields, as you can see. There we are. Well, yeah, it does promise. Just doesn't have a community. And the problem with that is, if it doesn't have a community, there is no promise. Because, you know, you can't really play it. I mean, like I say, they have, it has the AI, but they have the same issues left for dead. They keep potions for themselves. They go off and do random things. They won't always be there to get you back. Because obviously they're not players. They have their own AI. And that'll always be the problem. They have their own plans they want to do. I am very much a glass cannon. And of course, when they do stuff, it doesn't always make sense either. But yeah, it's alright. It's an okay game. It has a lot of promise. The world is nice. The artwork is nice. Just, I don't know what's going to happen to the future of it. And that's the big problem. It's actually a major problem. Because if there is no player base, people won't pick it up. So, okay, I'm being of no player base. It was okay with being no player base, because why would people want to play a game which has no player base? Why'd I kill it? Why'd I kill a chicken? Was that like a secret? Is that like Noam Chomsky? There you go, keep pushing. Oh, this is not good for me. I shouldn't be leading. Another thing, this is why you can't really play these certain characters, because the AI is sticking close to you. You see when I have like, the heavy tank running ahead. Or people will spread out, they'll be right next to you. Which in my case is not good. I am not good with this being stabbed in the face. What was that? Oh, oh. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. What more can I say? The characters are all very unique. All the skills obviously all complement each other. But look. They're not... The tank was behind me. And that's like I said what the problem you get with AI. They don't actually do teamwork. Obviously they do teamwork skills during combat. But they don't actually do teamwork. Is there money in here or is it just shining? Hmm. I've been attacked by the Baron here before a few times, if I remember correctly. Mm. It was a nightmare to deal with hiding in here. Oh! Push, push, push! Cause you're pulling behind us. I do like the fact that zombies will constantly appear from behind. So they will always be troops. You can't just retreat and be okay. There will always be more. I'll take this. The Raven Master is circling around. Let that hunt begin. There we go. Get them all. If I can, I definitely want to level this up. Because the gate. 
And there'll always be sort of like gate opening practices. Like one was obviously finding a king and fighting a shark. Then it was defending a ferry. This one is going over here. Do that. Oh, can't roll over. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, they're not going to do the tactics on their own. You have to force them. Like I say, that's the issue. <laughs> Actually, that's the biggest issue. The lack of teamwork. Teamwork skills are fine. Picking you up is fine, but that is not teamwork. Oh, and this one here, you literally make a big hay bale and it breaks down the door eventually. Uh oh. The music picked up. Yep, here comes the Baron. You just kicked the barrel! Never seen him do that before. As you can see, he's easy to deal with when he's on his own. No, 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 no! Don't make me panic! But he works really well when there's the... the others. Raven! 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 See what's Rose doing? Rose just stand there in the corner. Again, not teamwork. Gonna die. Got him. And there you go. He may even reappear again if I do really well. That's how it usually goes. So yeah, this has been a Darksburg. It's an okay game, very bad AI. No community in existence right now, so whether it has a future is a different matter. But yeah, I have to see how it goes. I would, if you're going to pick this game up, I'd recommend getting, you know, friends. Because the AI will not be that good. Now people may go, oh, you have to go with the AI. It's like, yeah, I'm having to go with the AI because AI in these games is make or break. Hey, doll, get up. See? Not... One's over here, in the corner, doing nothing. One's over there, walking past. Bloody useless. Anyway, I've been the Fortune Show, it's been Dark Book. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Are you getting stuck on the wall? Oh my god, okay, fine. And they can't even pathfind their own bloody map. Anyway, ciao for now, people. Be awesome, be epic, and I will, of course, be seeing you in the next one.